Welcome to Zane's Outdoor Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Smallmouth fishing today on the White River. See, uh, hooking this uh, minnow through the tail, small gold hook. Split shot about a foot up the line there. One of my favorite methods for this kind of fish and take a little mud ball. This is actually a catfish bait. And crimp up there on your line. <clears throat> I'll show you that in a second. Let it settle. Today is November the 5th. It feels like 56 degrees. White River, Muncie, Indiana, right off of uh, MLK there. That's a smallie there. Take a wink on him. <clears throat> so Indiana rivers and streams is a slot limit, 12 to 15 inches. So no fish can be kept between 12 and 15. Only two bigger than 15. Five total for the day. If you look at smallmouth, 13 inches. back in the water. <clears throat> All right. This is an awesome way to smallmouth fish. I like going out and throwing crankbaits or curly tail grubs as much as the next guy, but Using bass minis today, <clears throat> not crappie minis. Looking through the tail. Got a split shot right here. <clears throat> Let that settle just a minute. <clears throat> so I typically use these mud balls on windier days. Or if there's a lot of current where you're at. But like today, for example, there's a lot of glare out here on this water. And it just really helps give you that, that visual you need to see the strike. Last two fish it so fast. By the time I got the mud ball on there, I was setting the hook. Right, 
Looks like I might have a second. I'm gonna put my mud ball on. set up this other pole yet. I had half a mind to cast a few times with this flicker shad. Get another bite already. Doesn't look like I'm going to have much time to uh, lure fish. Which is a good problem to have I guess. Two cast two fish. Some gross looking rock bass. <clears throat> Decent small eh? about thirteen and a quarter inside that slot limit with a good looking fish. So he took his time with it. I knew something had been hitting on that for a minute. I've just been watching that dough ball and it was just kind of tight, like it wasn't hanging straight. And that's kind of one of the benefits between behind using a mud ball like that. Is if they bite it real slow and they're just putting a little more tension on it as they kind of move around, you'll see that mud ball kind of hang at an angle. So Per gravity, it should hang straight down.
the shot of that that rig minnow through the tail split shot about a foot foot and a half up and take this one a little closer to the bank Fuck good Something hit that right away. Oh. We're waiting for the round. So the first three fish, I caught in the middle. And I caught those those two real quick. It took a minute for that third one. So I wonder if maybe they're actually more on the bank. I just assumed I would find them in the deep pockets. And I'm not sure of the water temp. But it feels a lot like the air temp. The smallmouth are one of those fish that they're more active in cold water than, say, largemouth. So it wouldn't really surprise me. I got something up bringing. Bring it up straight back to me. Yep. Rock bass. Uh, yeah, I could not get the slack out of the line on that one. He's just slowly swimming that down the bank back to me. Take one on that one. Oh, so we're getting a bite over here. Oh, yeah, definitely get a bite of this over here. Pretty fish. Quite a bit smaller. Good smiley.
He swallowed it, so we're gonna let him keep it. It's smaller though. Might as well get a little bit of a length on him. Fourteen. Not real big, but biggest one of the day so far. Get him back in the water. Let's go through that whole dance again. All right, boys and girls, spot change. I'm gonna go down the bank about a hundred yards or so. Good fish there. Not bad. Not as big as I was hoping, but he fought real good. Good looking fish. This spot is uh, not producing like I hope it would. <clears throat> 343, I got enough time for a quick spot change. I'm going to head down to the east, around the bend, keep on trying. Decent smaller. Pretty good looking fish. Let's see if we can get a size on him. I guess the fish that we're robbing would be small, but maybe it's not. 14 and a quarter. That is the uh, longest smallmouth of the day. Good looking fish.
Little guy, good looking fish, probably 10 inches. Decent smally. Little guy, pretty fish though, dark color, like those stripes. Well, I hate to end the day on a little fish, but the sun's gonna go down in about a half hour. It's time to call it a day. Thanks for watching the show. See you on the next one.